the tower was built in the late 15th century on the site of an older Byzantine tower where the eastern wall and the sea wall met. It has a ground floor, six stories with a turret atop, and until the early 20th century, the tower was surrounded by a low octagon wall, which was probably built in 1535 to 1536. Ah, oh, Mirabagato, a few years ago, right? Three of the corners were reinforced with smaller towers. The tower was called the Lion's Tower in the 16th century, the Fortress of Cala Maria in the 18th, and the Janissary Tower and Blood Tower in the 19th century because it was a prison and a place of execution. Off with their heads. It became known as the White Tower in 1890 when the tower was whitewashed by a convict in exchange for his freedom. And this is what the Thessaloniki looked like at one time is the promenade for obvious reasons. Ending in Aristoteles Square. Beautiful cafes all along the promenade. I could probably go through a couple hours of video just showing you each and every cafe. few remnants of the old city wall that used to inc include the town. The streets around here is the old Ladadika neighborhood. They've restored a lot of the buildings, they have a lot of restaurants. This is the first time I've seen actual pastries, but they're sitting in the sun. The Modiano Market is called the Paris of Saloniki and named after the architect Eli Modiano. It was in 1922. It's a covered market and the complex has five arcades with a glass roof. And inside are small shops selling mainly food as well as oozeries. It's a working market and one of Saloniki's top sites. Market has four entrances and was built in the late 15th century. Closed all four of the entrances and now shops are just built along the outsides. Walking back to the hotel and took a shortcut and all of a sudden I feel like I'm back in China. It seems that every little shop on this particular street is looks like it's Chinese. Zhongcheng Trade Company. Yongsheng Import-Export. 